Hey guys, uh, Vegan Picker, welcome to GIMP tutorial number two. Today we're going to talk about adding text. So we need to open a new file. Now, I did these two separate templates, and for some reason, both of them, the background color it, or the fill width keeps changing back to background color. So just make sure you check that. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but anyway. So we have our template, um, our blank shirt, if you will. Now, text in GIMP is the letter. Um, super simple. You just click it. Now, sometimes when you're going from toolbox to window or, you know, different toolbox, sometimes you have to click it twice. It's like it. It's like you're clicked on here, and then it, it, um, it doesn't recognize that first click. Um, it's not all the time, not even very often, but sometimes you just have to double click. So, so we click our um, text tool. This is where you choose the fonts. I have a lot of fonts. Um, I used to do a lot of digital scrapbooking. Um, so I have a lot of fonts. This isn't even half of the fonts. Um, but anyways, I, American typewriter is one that I like. It's what I used for the banner. And I said this on the show, go big. Um, this is a huge, I mean, 15 inches across. Okay. So if you, which I kind of recommend doing, if you take and cut out a piece of packing paper, 15 by 18, okay? And take a, a ruler and, and write some letters like that would be appropriate size on that piece of paper for someone to see from, you know, five, six, seven, ten feet away. It's not going to be tiny. Um, 600 pixels is two inches. Now, I've, I'm still thinking that I should probably go even bigger, but I didn't want like a, a really obtrusive because it was kind of a personal, you know, like inside thing. Nobody's going to get, I love, I heart profit talk. But, um, you know, it, I work in pixels. Just because I work in pixels does not mean that you need to work in pixels. Pixels make sense to me. Um, so you do not have to. Um Let's go for three inches this time, which is what? Seven, nine hundred. Okay. Now, remember, we're 4,500 pixels. So half of that is 2,250. About right there. And then you just type. And it's going to render so slowly. Um, this, you just created a text layer. Now, the next video that I do is going to be about working with the different layers and how to go, you know, back and forth or whatever. But for, oh, well, I'm going to need to merge it down. Um, now, you can either, what that means is, I really don't want to go too far into it, but what that means is you just kind of pushed it down. Um, I am off center. That's all right. Now, let's do, we're still on text. And you know that you are because you've got the little, see how the cursor looks like the little eye, like it does like if you're in Word or something. So you just type some more. And let's say that we need to move it. See the little... I'm like trying to point at my screen for you guys. See the little no circle slash? You want to move until that's gone. That means that you, you know that you're grabbing your text. And you just click and drag. So click, hold the mouse button, and drag it wherever you want it to be. Okay? And that's it. Now I do, um, I do merge everything down. Um, 
we talked about this on the show. It just, that way, I, because I have had some that, that have kind of gone wrong. Um, not creating t-shirts, of course, but um, my layers got wonky. I had a layer missing. Um, and I'm, it was a user error. I am absolutely certain. I have no doubt of that. So years and years and years and years ago, like millennia ago, I started merging my layers um, just as an automatic thing. And that way, you know, I'm, I'm working on one play playing field. But we'll talk more in the next video, which is about layers, about, you know, being careful. Be careful that you are ready to do that, that you are ready to merge those layers because... Sometimes you need to work on the, the different layers separately. Um, but in the beginning here, you're not going to need to do that. Okay, so there you go. That's adding text. Um, it's easy peasy. Uh, you change the color right here where it says color, size. Remember, this is where we change the font. Just click the little box. Um, centered, you know, that's if you're like if you're um, really not going to affect you here. Um, leave everything else the same. Just leave it alone. Don't even mess because you don't need to mess with any of the other settings here right now. That's it. I mean, it really, really is that easy. Uh, if you need to watch it again, rewind it. I'm trying to make these really quick, you know, to the point, simple, short, short, short things that you can just watch over and over and do it along. Um, if you have questions, put them down below in the comments. I will see them. I will answer them. Um, you can find me. You guys know where to find me on Facebook. Profit Talk Group, um, Dusty's Group, Paul's Group, um, Alabama Pickers, I think, or, I don't know, Dusty keeps changing the name, or the Reseller Wake Up. Um, you guys know where to find me. Reseller Society. Um, just tag me. Uh, it's better if you put it down below this. That way if someone else had the same question, they can see it and you can, uh, you know, kind of pay it forward. So thanks for watching. You know, all the good stuff. Hit the like button. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be, I believe we're going to do layers next. Thank you, guys.